Well, let's uh, move on and uh, look at one of the key stocks in focus this morning, Muthoot Finance. The uh, stock continues to trade weaker. The company came out with what looked like a slightly weak set of numbers for the second quarter. The net interest margin was at a five-quarter low. There's a compression in margin, low growth on the AUM side and, uh, you know, in general, uh, business trends seem to be a little sluggish. We have George Alexander Muthoot, Managing Director at Muthoot Finance, uh, joining in. Uh, Mr. Muthoot, thanks very much for being with us. Good morning to you. Season's greetings to you and the team. Uh, let's start with what the issue is. I'll come to the margin compression in a bit. But first, let's talk about business growth because uh, AUM at just about 2% quarter on quarter, that's the lowest growth we've seen, I think, in the last several quarters. So what is happening? <laughs> Yeah, quarter one was quite good. Quarter two was not that good. One of the reasons was that in quarter one, we had some uh, good, very good initiatives, which we have not done in quarter four, but was initiated in quarter two. So some of the business which had to come in the quarter four came in quarter one. In quarter two also, we did reasonably well. Uh, but then this year, there was a lot of uh, loans which became uh, NPS. And so we had, because of that, we had to do an ARC, asset reconstruction, asset reconstruction. we had to transfer 700 crores there. So that was also there. The growth would have been higher to that extent. So the growth which you see is after the transfer to the ARC. So to that extent, the growth is uh, almost normal. I think we have done about 9% growth in the first half, and we had given a guidance of 15 to 20% for the whole year. And I'm sure that uh, we should be able to do that by the end of the year, 15 to 20 percent. That is the guidance which we had given for the growth business. Okay, that's interesting. So there's a lot of sale to ARCs. That's that's what has uh, perhaps that's one key factor that's impacted your uh, your growth. But since you mentioned the subject of sort of NPS uh, at the gross level, the numbers don't look uh, bad. I mean, in fact, there's a reduction in uh, gross NPS from Q1 to Q2. Overall asset quality, I mean, is it all okay or are you noticing any any signs of worry over there? No, no. The asset quality is actually good. And yeah. uh, all these NPAs which you have seen now, I think in the uh, every month on month it gets liquidated and by maybe about three months all these uh, NPAs will get liquidated. And of course, a new set of uh, NPAs will come there. So, this is actually giving a little more time to the customer as a customer-friendly mission. So that is the policy of the company not to auction the gold quickly, but to give more time to the customers, even while holding it as an NP. So customers will be able to get back their gold instead of having to auction it. All right. Uh, uh, hi, sir. Good morning and good to see you in as always. Uh, well, you just mentioned 15 to 20% AUM growth for the year. In the first half, we've done a little under 10%. So that means the second half, even to get to 15%, you'll have to grow by 20% in the second half of the year. Are you confident about that? And I think earlier you've only been mentioning 15%. Now you've brought this range of 15 to 20%. Are you very, very optimistic about the second half? I think uh, 15 to 20% is something we should be able to do. So For the year? Uh, I think we are definitely optimistic of quarter three and quarter four. For the year, right? So for the second uh, half of yeah. the year, you will grow by... For the 15 to 20% for the full year, yeah. So that from March this year to March next year. Yeah. So, so second half of the years, then you'll have to grow by 20% to get even to 15%. So we'll hold you on that uh, number. Let's talk about the <laughs> about the NIMS. Uh, you know, could you tell us whether the cost of borrowing first has bottomed out? I think the last time we chatted, you were mentioning that it's likely to plateau out at the end of the second quarter. So has that happened? Point number one. And what does this mean in terms of NIMS outlook? And I ask you this because yields are going to get very very competitive. So you'll have limited headroom out there. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I think uh, the uh, borrowing cost is almost bottoming out. Maybe another 10, 15, uh, per, uh, 15 basis points is what we see, if at all, the break goes up. Unless otherwise, so it's almost bottoming out. And from here onwards, uh, it will bottom, it will, it will stabilize for a while and probably after three, four quarters, it will start coming down. That's the cost of borrowing. So cost of borrowing, which has gone up by about 10 basis points in the last quarter, uh, it was too insignificant for us to maybe fiddle with the yields. So we did not increase our yields. Again, as a customer-friendly measure, we did not increase our yield. And that is why uh, our <clears throat> net interest margin has come down by about 15 to 20 basis points. But I think our uh, NIMS, etc., uh, which is uh, between a, uh, 9 percent, maybe we should be able to maintain that going forward also. Mm. 
Mr. Muthut, hi, good morning. Prashant here, and uh, first of all, season's greetings to you, sir. Just a couple of questions. Uh, I just want to go back to that 15 to 20. I've heard you say 15. I've not heard you say 20. So, in a way, are you upping the guidance? I mean, is this a no, change no, from sir. before, it just is, to be sure? Uh, yeah, uh, 15 is uh, uh, given, and if things are very good, go up to 20. That's it, sir. Okay, so my second question is, uh, are you pushing growth in an environment where there is intense competition and will that mean that, uh, you know, yields, etc., will be, have to be on a downward trajectory? Uh, no, I don't think we need, uh, it will be, it will be a downward trajectory, but I think it will only, it will only stabilize. Probably it may not go up uh, significantly, but it will stabilize. As I said, it will be in that uh, 8.5, 9.5 range. Okay. Now, uh, you said that you've transferred uh, 700 crores to uh, an ARC, right? <clears throat> so, that has basically made some difference. Uh, but, but the stage 3 sort of uh, ratio, that has only gone down by about 25 basis points on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Does that mean that we will continue to see high slippages in the next quarter as well, in the quarter that we are in? In coming back, this uh, gold loan slippages, etc., this is a bullet loan. People try to take it in uh, up to, we give them up to 12 months. Some are able, not able to take it in 12 months' time. They request for two, three months more time. That's why we give them two, three months more time. So we hold it in our books as an NPA. So all these NPAs, we don't have a loan loss. So when the NPAs get uh, liquidated or when the loan gets liquidated, all these interest will come to. So when we uh, classify as an NPA, all the interest is, uh, interest is de recognized. So when the loan gets closed, all the interest comes back into your office. So, there is a, one of the reasons for the depression in the uh, uh, NIMS is also the NPLIs. Uh, so, speaking of NIMS, uh, sir, can we just get back to that point? Because you are down to 10.8% at the end of the second quarter. So, that's, uh, you know, a deceleration, uh, whether I look at it sequentially or year on year. Now, what's the outlook for the second half? How do you think you'll close out the uh, close out the year? We should be able to continue the same the same yield. So maybe 10, 15 basis points this side or that side. Otherwise, we should be able to continue with that uh, or hold on to that news. So, so it's, 10 it's point eight. Uh, uh, definitely a uh, uh, decent news. So you're saying that uh, around 10.8 percent plus minus 15 bips either side. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's okay. It. That's okay. Okay, got it. All right, uh, uh, sir, if you could give us a couple of more details, the housing finance subsidy, well, uh, that's a very small part of your business. But how you see things shaping up out there, demand we know for the housing sector on the whole is very strong. So what kind yeah, of a growth think, can uh, you outline here? Sorry, sorry. Huh. Please go ahead, sir. The demand for the housing sector is picking up. The, uh, all, the, all, the, all the things are in place. And uh, many, many builders have now come up with the new projects. Okay. Oh, so housing good. demand for the affordable housing is also fine and uh, as i said last time we have a new ceo in place we have started uh, uh, aggressively started the lending and uh, we see growth coming in these quarters first two quarters we had a growth of course a very small growth in the first two quarters and third and fourth quarters we should see good uh, growth in the housing sector also also the base is small but we we are uh, confident that it will also start growing now Okay, uh, just one last uh, question, Mr. Muthur. How much did you get for the uh, that 700 crore loan that you uh, sort of sold to the ARC? So they have put in 15 percent, and uh, uh, the other 85 percent was ours. As uh, the, when the customers take back the gold, the interest will be come back to us. Okay, yeah. and you and and you could not recover this on your own. You thought you had to do this? No, no. If it, we, we can definitely recover it on our own, but then it will be part of an NPA, and you will start asking why the NPA is going up. <laughs> but we're still asking you this. So, <laughs> <laughs> got it. Uh, but anyway, all these all these loans are hundred percent secure. We will yes. get seven hundred. I mean, the ultimate loan loss security. is very low. I I, I understand that, but I mean, uh, this does kind of bring concerns whether. Uh, you know, there is stress even in the gold loan portfolio for now. Thank you very much, Mr. Muthut, for joining us. Uh, great speaking with you as always here on CNBC TV 18. Nigel.